Well, Jill and Rodney Hearn um, are a wonderful couple. They uh, live in Seattle, Washington, uh, spend half their time in the year w living and working in Seattle, and the other half uh, sailing. Uh, they're very fortunate to uh, have a, a, a great six month a year sailing uh, on their boat on their yacht called Luckfar. Um, and they ran into uh, an incident. Uh, they were on course to Honduras and everything was going uh, exceedingly well until they ran into a major incident which effectively uh, left them stranded about a hundred kilometers uh, off the coast of uh, the US. So what happened was unfortunately on uh, 16th of January 2007 around one o'clock a huge gust of wind came and effectively broke their mast in half and so all of their communications equipment that were attached to the mast uh, went overboard. Uh, also uh, the jib came under under the boat and the halyard was wrapped around the propeller. So they were in a terrible unfortunate position really of being stranded uh, with no sails and no engine, um, literally dead in the water at sea. And so with effectively no communications, they did have VHF on board, uh, but the antenna itself was attached to the mast and, and so lost. Uh, that unfortunately they didn't have any EPIRB on board so they couldn't trigger uh, an automatic uh, safety uh, response in itself. Uh, but fortunately and luckily rather, they did uh, have the foresight to purchase an Iridium handset uh, from Stratos uh, just to be used for such incidents really, just only for a, an emergency response moment. And so luckily uh, they were able to, uh, to use that successfully. Um, what actually happened was uh, Jill uh, Hearn actually called her son in Seattle uh, to let them know of their situation. And so their son in turn called the US Coast Guard uh, based in Washington State. So the Coast Guard uh, called, called the Hearns back straight away. So they had at least uh, some relief in knowing that their, uh, their problems were being addressed. And now the next step, the next ma major step of course, was how to address and initiate the, uh, the safety response. Um, now what had happened and the original plan was that the U.S. Coast Guard were going to send out a vessel uh, from Costa Rica. Uh, but Jill, at least, was very aware of where their location was, where the situation was, and uh, knew that they were close to the Albuquerque Cay. So what she'd done was uh, communicate and coordinate uh, with the Coast Guard again over the Iridium, and so knew that that was the home of the Columbian Armada. So in uh, using the phone to talk to the uh, U.S. Coast Guard, she advised them of this, and uh, because really she did not slept at all for the last 36 hours, was desperate for the rescue attempt to uh, to be expedited uh, as quickly as possible. The iridium itself, you know, I think proved invaluable and, and to be a real lifesaver uh, for the Hearns. I mean, the net effect was that they at least saved uh, a good 12 hours, I would say, in uh, having the rescue attempt uh, come from that location and the Hearns are very grateful that at least they were rescued uh, faster than they would have been and indeed uh, potentially that, that was a, a life-saving uh, moment for them as well. If you look at the way in which the terminals delivered to our customer base I mean they really do like the fact that it is small, uh, very easy to install in that uh, maritime environment and extremely cost-effective in terms of where you place that with other satellite uh, terminals today.